Have you ever wondered how you'd survive getting swallowed by a whale? The answer is yes, because you clicked on this video, so let's find out how. Firstly, the chances of being swallowed by a whale are incredibly small. Rainer Schimpf, whilst documenting the migration of sardines, got caught in the mouth of a humpback whale, which is an extremely rare thing, because humans aren't normally in the areas where whales feed, and if they are, for a whale to catch one is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Rainer was released from the whale's mouth not because of anything he did, but because almost all whales are physically incapable of swallowing a human whole. The the only whale capable of doing this is a sperm whale. The number of sperm whales alive in our oceans is estimated to be below 1 million, so the chances of you even seeing one are pretty low, let alone getting eaten by one. That being said, if you were eaten by one, it's most likely you will die, although there are some things you can do to improve your chances. Number 1. Hold your breath. Most sperm whales feed at depths between 980 and 2,620 feet. So if you're caught by one, the chances are that you have an air regulator and scuba tank. But if you don't, take the biggest breath you can before going under. Number 2. Ball up. If a sperm whale catches you in its mouth, roll up into a fetus position, keeping your limbs in tight as possible. A sperm whale has 36 to 52 teeth on its lower jaw, and each tooth can weigh up to 2.2 pounds. The sperm whale cannot chew. Its teeth are for ripping up prey that is too big for its mouth, and since a sperm whale's diet is mainly medium to large squid or octopus, they tend to swallow their prey whole. When the whale closes its mouth, the teeth on its lower jaw fit into sockets in its upper jaw, so ball up to avoid getting a limb caught as it shuts its mouth. Number 3. Stretch out. Once the mouth is shut, stretch out as much as you can and feel for anything to grasp hold of to stop yourself being swallowed. Here you must do everything you can to avoid being swallowed. Hopefully if you can stay in the mouth, you can get out the next time it's opened or you can make it uncomfortable enough for the whale that it spits you out. Number 4. Induce vomiting. If you don't manage to hold on and do get swallowed, the chances are that you're already dead or near to it. If by some sort of miracle you're still alive, after travelling down the esophagus you will reach the first chamber of its four-chamber stomach. The first chamber doesn't secrete gastric juices, so you'll be safe from acid for now. But this chamber does have extremely muscular walls that are used to crush its food before passing to chambers 2, 3 and 4, which do contain acid in addition to to methane gas produced by the decomposition of its previous meals. In chamber 2, there are remains of squid beaks that the whale can't digest, and so it vomits them out. This vomiting action is what we have to attempt to induce before we are crushed in chamber 1, and then digested. These stomach walls are impervious to sharp squid's beaks and octopus suckers, so you'll have to do something impressive. Use a knife if you have one, or try to build up air pressure inside the stomach using your regulator. If by some miracle you have reached this far and managed to get the whale to vomit you out, you may still be in danger. Sperm whales can dive to depths of 6,500 feet, whereas humans can only dive to 420 feet without specialist equipment. If the whale has gone below this before it vomited you out, you won't survive. What event would you like to know how to survive next? Comment below and if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and subscribe for more.